The online world gets pretty confusing when it comes to personal finance and advice on business or whatever. The word entrepreneur is massively overused and the effort necessary to actually become rich is grossly underestimated. In today's video, I'm going to go over the most common misconception regarding money, building wealth, and entrepreneurship. This video is not for everyone. In fact, I'd say very few of you will actually take this seriously and take action with this affirmation. This video isn't supposed to disappoint you or discourage you from starting a business or trying to make money in any way or fashion. You just need to be emotionally and rationally prepared. Online gurus and influencers make it seem like it's all honey and rainbows, but the world of business is all but easy or fun, at least in the beginning. So, if you're ready, let's get started now. Everyone can be an entrepreneur. I believe that entrepreneurship can be a talent. Some people are good at playing an instrument. Some are good at playing a certain sport. Some are good at maths, and then some are good at starting and growing businesses. But what does entrepreneurship talent look like? A talented entrepreneur is someone that's very good at reading other people. First of all, why? Because this has everything to do with selling, negotiating, and identifying pain points and issues in the marketplace. First of all, in order to sell or negotiate, you need to understand what's going through someone else's mind. You need to know if they're saying the truth, if you can raise the price, or if you have to lower it, and many other nuances. People don't always mean what they say, as you probably know. For example, someone might say, I'm not interested in this product, when actually they're just pushing you away because they might have had a bad day. Or maybe they say the same thing, but actually they want the product, they just don't have the money. See how this is very important? Second of all, understanding other people's problems and frustrations gives you the tools you need to develop a product that will actually sell. Why? Because no one is going to buy something that doesn't help them in any way. Also, you have to be innovative because if the product is already sold on the marketplace successfully by a bunch of businesses, you'll find too much competition and you won't get any market share. So there are people who are born entrepreneurs. That's just how their brains are wired. Does that mean that you can't become an entrepreneur unless you have that birth talent? No, it sure doesn't. Just like Gary Vee says, you can become a good tennis player, but you'll probably never be better than those who were born to do it. See what I mean? But still, everyone can develop the necessary skills to become an entrepreneur. But the truth is the following. You need a lot of skills, which require a lot of time. Especially at the beginning of your journey, you won't afford to hire all the personnel that you need. So you'll end up doing a lot of things that you don't want to do, or that really don't make you a dime. It isn't all about being talented, but it is all about work ethic and willingness to sacrifice short-term pleasure for long-term fulfillment and happiness. And this isn't as easy as it sounds. It's been proven that most adults struggle to see the future perspective and the consequences of their actions on their own future. Business is hard. The first reason why business is hard is that it requires a lot of sacrifice. That's the price you have to pay if you want to succeed, which is why it isn't for everyone. I once read a book that advised people to make a list of the things in their life that they aren't willing to sacrifice in exchange for success. And I already know some are about to say, I'm willing to do literally anything in order to succeed. Well, think again, because that's most certainly not true. Are you really willing to give up your mental or physical health for success? What about family, friends? Those are probably on your list. Some things that you might want to sacrifice are people that are counterproductive or want to slow you down for any reason, friends that aren't close, free time, weekends out, the amount of sacrifice is directly proportional to the level of success that you'll achieve. The more you sacrifice, the more you succeed. Is there luck involved? Saying that luck doesn't have its role would be foolish. There's a saying that success happens when work ethic meets opportunity. This basically means that you need to work hard in order to identify opportunities and be there when they actually happen. I mean, you're definitely more likely to be there at the right time, if you're there all the time. Know what I mean? But business isn't hard just because you need to work a lot. It's also the fact that you have to compete and constantly reinvent yourself, as well as endure certain levels of pain. Again, the greater the success you want to achieve, the greater the pain you'll have to endure in order to actually achieve it. 
competition. If you're the leading force in your specific niche, be sure that there's always someone trying to get your piece of the pie. You can't really trust everyone, and people will turn on you or waste your time. Innovation The reason why you need to reinvent yourself constantly is that there's always something going on. If you don't innovate, someone else will, and they'll get ahead. If you stay the same, you have no shot at staying in business for years to come. Just take a look at the biggest corporations and businesses that you know. Even companies like Google and Facebook have to reinvent themselves on a daily basis. Just look at how much they changed in the last couple of months, let alone in the last couple of years. Where the pain comes from One of the difficult things in business is enduring the pain of not reaching your objectives and knowing you could have done better. It's very common to underestimate how much time will be necessary to achieve something. Take a look at Tesla, for example, the car company, and even SpaceX, the aerospace company. Elon Musk is very public about their goals, which obviously have deadlines. Still, this doesn't mean that he always achieves them. Actually, Elon is the first to say that they're sometimes too optimistic about their goals. Also, there's a lot of problem solving involved. Imagine being in a constant game of chess. That's what business is like. You always have to get creative about solving problems and coming up with unique solutions. And if you don't, you go bankrupt. This is stressful to say the least. It takes a lot, a lot of time. Many entrepreneurs agree on this definition. Entrepreneurship is the ability to endure pain for long periods of time. Another good one is the following by Dan Pena. The one person who stays focused the longest wins. This is true. In a competitive environment, you can be as talented as you want, but if I outwork you, I'm still going to win. People online like to pretend that you can cheat and that you find shortcuts. You can't. In business, shortcuts will become burdens that will threaten the survivorship of your organization. When you take shortcuts, you skip crucial parts of problem solving and developing problem solving skills. It's basically like giving a million dollars to a poor person. He doesn't have the skills to multiply that money, which means that he's probably going to spend it all, so you need to take your time. But how much time is really required? Well, that depends on many factors. Where you live, the business, your initial capital, and to some extent luck. I would say that anyone who promises you to go from zero to a million in less than two to three years is lying to you. They are also probably selling some kind of course, as these gurus do all the time. You do not need capital to start any business. This is also wrong. You definitely need money to keep it running, but this doesn't mean that you need it right away. Here's what I mean. If you want to employ people right away and buy an office as well as expand with investments, you definitely need a lot of capital to get started. Not to mention capital for equipment and space for the equipment, especially if you want to manufacture something. But many businesses can be started without any money at all, especially online businesses. You can find your first clients as a freelancer, then save that money and reinvest it in the business. Then you can find a partner, make even more money, save it and start delegating things like making the invoices, finding and managing new clients, doing the actual work and so on. Service-based businesses are usually the ones that are the easiest to start with no capital. Am I saying that people who say they can't start a business because they don't have the money are making excuses? Yes, that's exactly what I'm saying. Many models are easy to start from your PC basically any time. You do not need connections to start a business. A good network is definitely a huge plus, but it isn't a requirement. You can create your own network. As you've probably already heard, your network is your net worth. Basically, staying around prosperous-minded people will influence you to become like them. You are who you hang out with. To create a strong connection with prosperous people, it's never been easier. You have tools like LinkedIn or even Facebook or Instagram, and if those don't work with you, you can always find clients and then get connections from them, as well as referrals. You just need to be creative and do it even if it might feel uncomfortable at the beginning. Now, you need to watch this. Habits that will make you rich. Easy countries to become rich. Well, that's all for today. Thank you so much as always for watching. Please like the video if you found value in it and subscribe if you're new to the channel. Go ahead and press the bell icon so you'll be updated anytime we upload a new video. 
With that said, have a great day, you guys, and I'll see you in the next one.